Hampton Bays on the East End has plenty of shopping and eateries, but in the summer season, a big draw is the outdoor activities with several parks and restaurants right on the water. And right at the entrance of Mun Pond Park, you'll find a rescue center doing incredible work for our local wildlife. There was really no place that was specialized for them on the East End. Visit the Evelyn Alexander Wildlife Rescue Center, a fully operational wildlife hospital. It's really nice to just be able to give back and you know give these animals a fighting chance. Those who can't be released have a great home here as education ambassadors. We love visitors here. You know, honestly, we have a lot of really fantastic trails to walk in addition to, you know, being able to meet our education ambassadors. And I just think it's something not a lot of people know about. After a day exploring, relax and recharge by the water at Cowfish. We are here at Cowfish in Hampton Bays with Erica Marcus, one of Newsday's food writers. This is such a cool vibe here at Cowfish. This place is really unique. It's on two or three levels. It's indoors, it's outdoors, it's porch, it's lawn, it's patio. And actually the food is very good too. Yes. These were recommended to us. The rotisserie chicken with sweet potato Brussels sprout hash. Yeah, looks amazing. These they're calling the Nola shrimp and it's got like Cajun seasoning. It's got this rice and it's got this sauce and it's got this toast. Well, let's give it a go. Yeah, let's this again. all looks amazing. And the fun doesn't stop there. Take a complimentary seven minute ride on the Rum Barge over to their sister restaurant, Rumba. With a laid back island vibe along the Shinnecock Bay, it's a perfect place for dinner or a sweet treat to end the night. All right, time for dessert here at Rumba after getting off the Rum Barge. And we're having something they're pretty well known for, Erica. Yeah, they have an awesome key lime pie. Now this is a seasonal dessert. Tres leches. Tres leches. This was an aggressive bite. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Guilt-free dessert if there's fruit involved. That's my theory. Reporting for Newsday TV in Hampton Bays, I'm Macy Eglin.